All right, guys, so it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and, um, you know, no school today, so I decided I'm going to go catch an early showing of Doolittle and Dolby. I haven't heard nice things about this, but personally, I like the trailer to this movie, um, so I was looking forward to this movie, but sadly enough, all these bad reviews started coming out, so I decided to hold it. I was going to go watch it on Friday, but instead I decided to watch Bad Boys for Life and um, Uncut Gems. So I was holding this one off till today and uh, you know I hope at least I hope I at least like enjoy it as a guilty pleasure. So I'm gonna go see it in Dolby. Um, let's walk in and I hope for the best. So they got a doodle playing in this theater right now and I just walked in and it's packed. Like, it's fully packed. Like, a lot of families there. So, um, it looks like, it, I mean, the movie does have a $175 million budget. It only made like $22 million at the box office, but it seems like people are heading more for the matinees for this movie, which might be reasonable considering the reviews the movie's gonna be. I mean, again, it has Robert Downey Jr. Why wouldn't you be curious? Uh, this is his first movie outside of the MCU, so um, I hope it's okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so I saw Doolittle, a movie that I was kind of looking forward to, especially since it's the first Robert Downey Jr. movie since his departure from the MCU, and I kind of want to see what movies he was going to be, uh, be doing after his after finishing up his role as um, Tony Stark in the MCU, and Doolittle happens to be that movie. So I was curious, and the trailers were quite decent, and it, this movie has so many so many actors that you know i was just surprised how many actors they got for this movie i know uh they got tom holland uh they got octavia spencer uh john cena rami malik they got all these big actors big names they even got selena gomez to voice a giraffe for like two or three minutes of the movie but hey you know it worked really well for her i guess and um i was quite excited for this movie for various like it's like these movies like that revolve around animals that i really get excited for um for some reason and i walked out of doolittle um with nothing but very disappointing thoughts um doolittle doolittle did a little for me <laughs> it, it was not a good movie um in fact the movie was actually pretty bad it's not even to the point where it's like so bad it's so good like it didn't even manage to uh be a guilty pleasure but i will say this you know there's no denying it the movie is bad but it's not like one of the worst things that i have ever seen i could name off much worse movies that i've seen this year for example uh like a boss and the grudge those movies are much worse and i don't even think this is gonna be one of the worst movies of the year like i don't know about top 20 Maybe not top 15. I'm um, definitely not top 10, though. I'm sure we're going to come across much worse things. You know, I can't say for now, but um, the movie was bad, but it's not, like, awful. It, the, the movie's kind of bearable, actually. You know, I sat through it. I wasn't really pulling my hair or anything watching the movie. Um, the, the movie is bearable for the most part, and most of that is because of the actors of this movie. You know, Robert Downey Jr., uh, he, you know, walking out of this movie, I didn't know what I thought about him, but... I kind of really respected his performance in this movie, um, even though it's not really a role that he's suited for or a role that he should have actually like done at all. Um, he he did a pretty okay job. I think he put some effort into this role, and you know I thought he was okay in the movie. And it, you know all the, all the voice actors did a really good job for the most part. Um, although the one that I had a complaint with was Craig Robinson playing that little squirrel, who like who who thought of getting Craig Robinson to voice a scroll like it, it just like it didn't really work for me so you know he was okay in the movie but it just didn't really work for me for him to voice a scroll you know it, it was just something that was bothering me throughout the whole movie um I thought the CGI was actually uh pretty okay um it, you know they spent a lot of mo money on this movie I think they spent uh what was it 100 175 million dollars on this movie and most of that because not just because of the all-star cast but the CGI um 
you know, I, the, the CGI was actually pretty good in this movie. Although it's nothing like, nothing impressive, like nothing to the levels of the Jungle Book or Lion King or, um, I don't know, Avatar, you know, those type of movies. So, uh, but it's still pretty okay CGI. But where the movie really lost me wasn't just the writing, which is pretty bad, but it's like the whole adventure. And even like the movie even tries to be a mystery. Like the mystery aspect of the movie doesn't even work. And the adventure aspect of the movie is barely present. Like, I forgot this was actually an adventure movie till probably, like, an hour into this movie. And, um, because there's nothing going on in this movie. There really isn't much going on in this movie. Um, as far as I can remember, uh, you know, I've, I've already forgot most of this movie. But as far as I can remember, it's probably, like, the last few minutes of the movie that kind of had some adventure tone to it um but it just really didn't work and i'm sure a lot of you guys already know about the whole dragon thing the dragon farting and it, it's it, it just like becomes like the resolution to the i don't know it, it just didn't really do it to me the 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 movie just had such bad writing that i don't even i don't even know why robert down jr would actually or any of the actors would be down to participate in it. Maybe the pay was really well. Maybe that's why the pay, uh, the budget for this movie was is really high. But um, overall, you know, the movie is bad. Um, again, some poor writing decisions, uh, mainly the story and the mystery aspect that really made this movie bad. And the movie is kind of boring as well. But as you know, I do respect all the actors in this movie. The CGI was okay. There are a few moments that I thought were actually kind of cute and pretty acceptable for what it was or for what it is my bad and the movie isn't that terrible it just it, it's just a bad movie that's all but it, it's again i it's not unsufferable or anything it's it's whatever it, it's still a bad movie though but again it's not one of the worst things i've ever seen um but with that being said i'm gonna give doolittle a d plus I did see this in Dolby Cinema. Um, it wasn't playing in IMAX, so uh, I wanted to go see it in Dolby instead. And I thought that the the movie looked really good in Dolby. Um, the Dolby 4K, Dolby Vision 4K projection was actually pretty good. I think what really made it even better though was uh, the Dolby Atmos. I thought that there was a lot of use of that, a lot of overheads or ambience, and, and you know, a lot of that use. Um, so it was pretty good in Dolby. Too bad the movie wasn't too good at all really but um yeah have you guys seen the little if you guys seen it what did you guys think about it tell me in the comment section below as always thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later